Welcome back to page 121. Today we're going to talk about one of the things I find really cool about the travel universe, and that's black globe generators. I've always liked the idea of these things. It's a, the ultimate force field, but it has its pros and its cons. So we're going to go over that a little bit, and we're going to look at an excellent article from Traveler's Digest number 11, Project Blackheart. Uh, just a strategic way to use the black globe generator in any kind of uh, naval engagement. So today on page 121, black globe generators. For today's video, I also thought I'd take an opportunity to look at the Traveler Wiki. Uh, many of you are probably aware of the Traveler Wiki. If you just Google something for Traveler, there's a good chance you're gonna get thrown to the Traveler Wiki. Also, if you spend any time on the Traveler map, you're gonna find that that interconnects with the Traveler Wiki. So I went to this today because this would be information anybody would be able to access with a computer. So for today's discussion of black globe generators, they're basically advanced force field projectors that are generally beyond tech level 15. They start, depending on your source, around tech level 16. They can be as high as 18. These are generally artifacts that are found in ruins. These are ancient artifacts, although a form of the black globe generator has been created by the Imperium. Essentially, when it's turned on, it's called a black globe generator because it generates a globe of extreme darkness. It absorbs all radiation, light, heat, radiation impact, anything. It eats all the energy and uh, prevents the ship from being damaged. There are pros and cons to this. When you're inside a black globe that is turned on 100%, you can't see out, you can't maneuver, you can't fire your weapons. You're basically just a little ball floating in space. So this could be a definite disadvantage if someone knows where you are and can just track your ballistic course as you hurtle through space. So what you want to do with the black globe generator is you want to have a flicker ability. And basically a flicker is a flicker rate of the globe. The globe will come rated one, two, three up and upwards. That is the percentage of flicker. So if I want to turn the globe off and on very quickly, I set it for a flicker rate of 30%. So my it has to be a globe 3. So I set my globe 3 for 30%. What this means is that my globe will absorb 70% of the damage that comes into my ship with the other 30% being given to my ship. But I can maneuver at 30% of power. I can change my heading, I can use sensors, albeit a limited version of my sensors, and I can fire weapons. The weapons kind of synchronize through the flicker rate, like the old uh, bullets passing through the prop on a biplane of World War I. So the idea behind this is that I turn my black globe generator on, and then I flicker it, and when I'm in combat, I'm that much more difficult to damage than my opponent. The energy that my black globe does absorb has to go into capacitors aboard my ship. And capacitors, uh, your capacitor sizes depends on the size of your vessel. And if you overload these by absorbing too much energy, the ship detonates inside the black globe, which would be interesting because effectively then the black globe could never be turned off because the ship detonated inside of it, the black globe would just continue to exist. So it's kind of a neat idea. I like the black globe. It's one of the, the more mind teasing things in, in Traveler as far as I'm concerned. Um, a black globe is not all great. Uh, I've run a black globe. I, I ran a naval campaign years ago, back in the 80s, uh, and I gave the, the crew a ship with a black globe generator, but I made it finicky as could be, and I made it not horribly reliable, but it did save their bacon a few times. That can be a lot of fun, but you need a crew that's going to be military and dedicated. I would never allow a black globe to fall in the hands of just a group of travelers. I could see where some people would allow it. I don't like super ships uh, for player characters in Traveler, so I'm going to be stingy with that. Um, that's just my take on it. If you've used Black Globes with the you know, player characters mounting it aboard their, their Empress Morava trader, hey, more power to you. It's a fun game. Go ahead and play it. So continuing on with uh, the Black Globe itself, what it does give you is complete invisibility. Uh, if anyone were to see you, you would just look like a black blob in space blocking out stars behind you. 
So they're not really going to be able to see you. So it, it is practical invisibility. Uh, and if you were to suddenly turn on the black globe while you're in battle, most ships' crews are aware of the existence of black globes, and they'll simply project your course over time. Since they know that you've gone ballistic, they know exactly where you're going to appear. So black globes are of limited utility there. Without the ability to flicker, black globes would be, in my opinion, pretty use useless. The uh, globe itself absorbs all the energy, but you can't disperse the energy if you can't flicker. So as I'm flickering, I'm able to maneuver, I'm able to fire out of my, my vessel, I'm able to use sensors, and as importantly, I'm able to dump some of this excess energy so that it doesn't build up in my ship and destroy my ship. So it's a it's pretty cool idea. I like black globe generators. I'd hope to see something along these lines pop up in Star Trek at some point where you just lock down and you, you can't be harmed and you, you know, Captain Shields are fading. No, never saw it. Uh, I would love to see a cinematic version of this somewhere. Maybe there is one out there that I'm not aware of. I don't know. Share with me if you know. Uh, and uh, as I'm, I've said already, overcoming the black globe generator, the theory is you just bombard the heck out of it. Nuclear missiles do it pretty quickly. Uh, but Mason guns, spinal mounts are effective against it as well. You just have to have time to do it. Uh, and then the no, known black globe technologies come in around tech level 16. And you're saying, wait a minute. My best starship is tech level 15. How can I have a black globe generator on it? Well, the answer is it's cutting edge tech. You have some systems that are being used. They've made the black globe, which is technically tech level 16, and your control systems are tech level 16. Well, you've made it, you've, you've got it aboard your ship, and now you're using it, and it's all cutting edge. So this is a very high dollar, high priority, high secrecy device in the Imperium. I'm going to take a look at an excellent article that was in the old Traveler's Digest uh, in just a moment where they used the... the planning operation was to use the black globe generators and we're going to talk about that in just a moment i do want to say one thing about white globe generators these are theoretical at this time it would come in somewhere around tech level depending again on your source tech level 19 so there's a theory that these exist but it's not actually been proven scientifically so pretty cool white globe generators allow you to see out uh rather than just completely blinding you and you can still flicker them, that kind of thing. Again, I've never used a white globe generator. I have no intention to. Uh, you got to be careful with this stuff. So that's it for this part of the black globe generators. Now we're going to take a look at Operation Blackheart. Operation Blackheart. I want to preface this with saying I know that these issues of Traveler's Digest are out of print. I'm doing this again as a way to say, hey, copyright holders, whatever you're grievances are with each other. Hey, we would love this stuff in print again. Help us out. So that being said, I will just show you the article very quickly. It's on page 26. And there we go. Operation Blackheart. The idea is that you would make a vessel uh, built specifically to use a black globe generator to jump into a system, immediately turn on the black globe generator, coast ballistically to your target, drop at a specified time, drop the globe, fire your weapons, and then, if possible, jump out, and if not, putting the globe back up. Pretty neat idea. I like it. It's a, a surprise strike cruiser, and as given in this article uh, by Chad Russell from the late 80s, this would be a vessel that has a 19,900 ton displacement, and would be uh, the Nemesis class intruder cruiser, which is basically the idea is it would only have that one shot capability. The Imperium keeps this op project very hush hush. It's very uh, top secret. And the idea is that only the people aboard the ship know anything about the Black Globe generator, which is again something that the Imperium pretty much has a monopoly on. And the idea would be that no one would realize that this ship, which looks like it's a defensive profile, would be being used as a first strike weapon. So I thought this is a pretty cool idea. It, it made me think of, or when I read Hunt for Red October in the late 80s and then saw the movie, it made me think of the Red October, which was designed for stealth and first strike. And I thought the same thing about this. 
Now, in the article, it says that it would jump in with the black globe generator on. Uh, I don't allow that. I would never allow that in my traveler campaign. You would have to leap, leap into this or jump into the system, get your bearings, start your heading, and then turn on the black globe generator. And you're saying, well, wait a minute, that negates the advantage of the black globe generator. The way I play in my travel universe, if you're coming in off of um, a jump point that's not ordinarily used, you're high in the elliptical, whatever you've decided, you're using planetary bodies to block, you're not going to be seen necessarily. I don't make it an automatic that everybody sees the jump flash and knows you jumped in system. Space is huge. Even local space is huge. So I don't really sweat that part of it. I let the I would let the ship jump in. I would let it get its bearings, set its course. And keeping in mind, it's got to be a ballistic course once the force field's on. And once the force field is going, uh, just start it on the ballistic course and let it go. Now, the other thing that it could do, because space is huge, is it could drop the force field for a brief period to check its bearings and hopefully not make a course correction. As long as it's not emitting anything or making a course correction, or if it's only using thrusters to make the course correction, the vessel's really not going to be detected unless it has the worst possible luck and is right on top of another vessel. While possible, it is unlikely. So the idea then is the vessel coasts toward its target, usually some type of orbital facility or hopefully some kind of deep space array so you can jump out right away after your strike. You come in on a, your ballistic course, the timer counts down, you drop the uh, black globe, fire your weapon, hopefully destroying whatever it was you were sent there to destroy, and then immediately flee the scene. This particular ship is only set up with a uh, 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 particle accelerator weapon, uh, one shot, one kill design. So it's not really going to be able to stay in any kind of engagement. It doesn't want to. It's not all that big anyway. So you just bring this guy in and let it blow up what it's gone there for and then go out. Another alternate way that you could do this is you could take a capital ship, Tigris class perhaps, have it do the exact same maneuver, come in, set itself on a course, coast ballistically toward wherever it's headed, and then just kick butt and take names. Tigris is going to be able to stay in there. And, and do what it needs to do to get the job done. So that'd be an alternate way to use Project Blackheart. So this article really teased my imagination, which is, of course, why I play Traveler. It's, uh, it was something I hadn't really considered with a black globe generator, even though I've known about the ballistic courses and such. I had never thought of it as an offensive one strike or first strike weapon. So pretty cool idea. Oh, there's a official commemorative poster. Oh, from the 87. Oh, that's the one I hung up on my board a few weeks ago. I didn't realize there was an ad for it here. So that is Plot Project Blackheart and a quick look at Black Globe Generators. They were first introduced in High Guard Book 5 in original Classic Traveler, and there's been some iteration of them pretty much throughout all of Traveler. I like them a lot. I recommend using them with caution, uh, but include them. If nothing else, they can be a, a cinematic encounter that your player characters either tell someone that they were part of or hear about on the news uh, who knows you know the ship mystery mystery ship comes in strikes and flees anything like that so that's really all i have to say about black globe generators right now if you have any questions or comments i'd love to see them please remember the uh, patreon help the channel grow and uh, i hope you liked what you heard and saw and if you did please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time on page 121